system. We have already told you in my first lecture, it is a herbivorous. They take the small leaf like structures. छोटे छोटे टुकड़े टूट जाते हैं उन्होंने पत्तिया पुत्तियाँ दे दे टेक दैट फूड ठीक है द फूड नेचुरली दैट इज टेकन बाय थ्रू माउथ दिस इज हेड पोर्शन द माउथ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ओपनिंग इज देयर इन बिटवीन दीज लेबियल पेल्प देयर इज प्रेजेंट ओपनिंग that is called the mouth around that there is two pair one pair of tentacles they are called the labial palp after that or these structures they starts from the pulmonary sac side in the pallial complex they are present starts from the pallial uh, pulmonary chamber side after that there is present this buccal mass or buccal cavity it has number of muscles in that there are also present buccal ganglions these buccal ganglions these are related with the nervous system it is for the functioning of proper functioning of the this buccal mass after that there is present these are extended downward or there is present salivary pouch this is esophageal pouch or where is present or it is also called salivary pouch that contain the salivary glands this is a mooch there are present salivary glands which produce the saliva same like that of on the both sides there are present pouch just below the buccal mass around the esophagus there are present two pouch like structures esophageal pouch in the pouches there are present two salivary glands one on either side just these in between these pouches there is present esophagus this esophagus is a long tube which starts which is narrow just after the buccal pouch buccal esophageal pouches they are just narrow after that it become broad and then again they open into a very broad round structure that is called this is called the stomach now this stomach is i have all told you in the pallial complex it starts from the pulmonary chamber now this all portion going to enter into the gill chamber or bronchial cha chamber this stomach is that is of two it has two parts one is a broader part that is called the cardiac stomach second is the narrow part that is called the pyloric stomach near this pyloric stomach there is present one projection like structure that is called the cecum after that there is now from here it enter into the bronchial chamber etho start ho ke is tarah karke aa gaya it starts from like this and enter into here there is a lot of coiling of this intestine after this enter into the from this it is like uh, this now this enter into the gill or this last tube 
is called rectum and this is open by the anus near the gill this all structure is present near the gill parallel to the gill in the branchial chamber now i will tell you the this all structure what is what is present jis tarah apna muh hai muh de andar buccal cavity hai what their structures which is present in the buccal cavity like in our buccal cavity there is present teeth tongue these cheeks in a side all these structures that diagram i will draw and explain the structures which is present in the teeth jis tarah sade teeth hai they also have teeth theek hai inna de vi teeth hunde hai so its their name is radular teeth they are called radular radula there is one structure that is called the radula or that radula has a number of rows of teeth rows of teeth that is called the radular teeth now we draw that all structures cell mass internal structure of cell mass like our mouth this is the head portion this is the buccal cavity this is buccal cavity like our buccal cavity there is mouth there is mouth then this portion just before the teeth that is called the vestibule there is a vestibule after that on the upper side there is a one hanged structure that is called the jaws like our upper jaw and lower jaw there is present on the upper side uh, projected this is also this jaw upper jaw that is in the inside toward the inside of the buccal cavity like that this is also toward the buccal cavity sides there is present jaw uh, that is called the jaw it has the movement of the jaw is with help of this uh, sphincter inner to it like after our teeth this portion inner to the teeth there is a different structures which is called sublingual cavity like this after teeth sublingual cavity this sublingual cavity on the lower side they have this flap like structure that is called the subradula like our tongue theek hai they have a one structure that is called the subradular organ after this there is odontophore just below there is present lateral cartilage which support this the cartilage it is not a softer one this is a little bit harder but less harder than bones theek hai after this there is very important structure which is present which is called the radula this is called the radula why i uh, said ki it is a important structure because this structure which is a brown in color which is brown in color just below this lateral cartilage transparent brown color means brown color is also not a very dark portion it is a little bit transparent and chitin made or its structure is like this when we see its 
structure in detail there is detailed structure of radula and lines which i have drawn drawn you can see the lines these lines they are called the transfer rows of teeth or these are called steps of radula steps of radula this each step of radula they contain the transfer rows of teeth transfer rows of teeth write the like our dental formula they also have radular formula what is this radular formula 2 1 again 1 again 1 again 2 this formula is ap apna likh de na dental formula and then scissors and a canines in premolars molars of one side like that eh jadiya rows hai main banaye de halke halke teeth they have detailed structure is here of one side same like structure is on the another side there is one this broad teeth here that teeth which is in the center this structure is called the naturally it is center so it is called the central teeth central radular teeth this is one in number it's a formula is 2 1 1 1 and 2 this one depict the this central clear or its structure is rectangular little bit rectangular or on the lower side they have two pointed portions or these pointed portions they overhang on the upper side there are present number of pointed structures 1 2 3 and 4 inan ki kehne a cusp jis tarah apne danda nu when we draw our teeth this is like this kehde wale premolars and molars upper portion a ubre ubre hai na ए ए जो उभरे उभरे दैट इज कॉल्ड द कस्प समझ आ गया दिस इज कॉल्ड कस्प जेडे हर्बी और एनिमल है कॉर्निवोरस जेडे अनकुक्ड फूड खांदे एनिमल है ना अद्धा करके फाड़ देंदा ते ओ जेडे हैगे है अपने लाइक लॉइन एंड अदर दे हैव अ वेरी पॉइंटेड कस्प due to this tearing or mastication is takes place this is clear cusp like structures after that center there is on the one side one one teeth this one and uh, this one this is that structure is called that is called the lateral tooth there are two lateral tooth one in the center and two sides of the center it is like this this, this portion is embedded jis tarah apna attach hai na is tarah hi bhi attach hai de naal and this portion we can see like a what teeth this portion we can see it is broad and has number of teeth on the inner side these are called the again it is called cusp tikhe tikhe kade vast hunde hai sare roti nu chaban vast after that two lateral teeth one and two same one and two i have written this two in number that is two marginal teeth inner teeth this one is in the next to this lateral tooth next to this lateral tooth is 
inner marginal tooth after that outer marginal tooth its structure is like this they are this portion is embedded and upper portion that has two cusp like structures i think this is clear to every one next is jaw next portion have you uh, clear hai sabno inner structure of jaw this is this is jaw this is the inner structure of the jaw it is again has these pointed structures which is supported by this sphincter like structures this come out and in this is also help in holding as well as mastication the food thank you very much hun agge physics